Hello everyone, this is your course instructor Kushwan Satnani. Let us start off with the practice session of oscillations and waves. We are seeing the concept of beats and the concept of Doppler effects and then we'll be practicing some questions in this class. So let's quickly start the session. We have oscillations and waves. So let us quickly see what oscillations and waves are. So we had learned this morning about until standing wave concept, right? Now we are seeing once again that interference has three possibilities, or oh sorry, superposition can lead into three possibilities. So superposition of waves can cause three things to happen. One, we have learned one phenomena which can happen is interference, right? The other phenomena which can happen is concept of standing waves, right? Third one which can happen is beats. So we will see them one by one, okay? We have already seen the concept of interference. It happens when two sources are Karuna, two sources are coherent. When frequencies are equal for two sources, they are called coherent. Coherent. Correct. Correct. Now, this was one condition for interference to take place. What is the What are the necessary conditions for standing waves to be formed, Karuna? Can you recall uh, it for us? Yes. Waves are in opposite directions. Waves are traveling in Frequen opposite directions. Absolutely. What else? They have same frequency and yes, amplitude yes. also. Absolutely. So their angular frequencies or you can call frequencies and their amplitudes are same. Absolutely correct. What about beats? So in beats, what's happen is, what happens is in case of formation of beats, right? What happens? Let's say we have two sources, right? And both of them, both of them are emitting waves such that the waves are traveling in same direction. This is one, right? Second is their amplitudes are equal right and third is there is a small difference in their frequencies so i will write it over here itself and this is one of the most important differences for beats right so there is a small difference f1 and f2 let's say are the frequencies of the two waves which are coming and superimposing each other right or superposing each other is a better term so then f1 and f2 will have a small difference between them. One of the very uh, common usage of beats is when you're playing musical instruments, right? So if there are, let's say there are different uh, people who are playing, uh, let's say drums, right? So the way they're producing sounds might lead to creation of a very different uh, music altogether, right? So that is how the concept of beats plays a very crucial role in the world of music, right? Let, let me uh, maybe address it that way. And how do you calculate it mathematically? We write the number of beats being produced. Let's say if I denote it by letter B. So the number of beats being produced per unit time will be given as vibrations per second taken a difference. That means difference of vibrations per second or difference of frequencies of both the of both the uh, sources, right? So this is one point very crucial that what are, what is the number of beats given by number of beats or B per second? This is called number of beats per second. Number of beats per second. Number of beats per second is uh, given by the difference of frequencies is given by the difference of frequencies. Next phenomena that we are considering is Doppler effect. This time, let us take a completely different example. So Doppler effect. What is Doppler effect, right? So Doppler effect is a very special phenomena, right? A very special phenomena. So let's say when you are standing, let's say when you're standing right on platform and you see that the train is blowing whistle as it 
is approaching on the plat or coming towards the platform, right? You would notice that the frequency, if let's say the train is giving out uh, a horn of frequency, uh, let's say blowing horn for frequency F, so the frequency which should be heard by you will be F dash, right? But so when I say F dash, it means that the frequency heard by the observer is different from the frequency which was emitted by the source, right? So O, I'm denoting the letter O to denote the observer, whereas S is for source here, right? I'll write it here. O is for observer, whereas S is for source. So Doppler effect is a phenomena which causes the frequency which is being heard by the receiver to be different from the frequency which is being emitted by the source provided provided there is some relative motion provided so i'll write it here i'll write it here so provided the ob if the observer and the source are in relative motion with respect to the medium, with respect to the medium, then if observer and source are in relative motion with respect to the medium, right, there is a change in frequency or you can call this the frequency the frequency hello am, uh, am i audible clearly yes sir yes sir yeah. so as i was saying Whenever the uh, observer and the source are in relative motion with respect to the medium, then the frequency which is heard by or which is perceived by the observer is different from is different from is different from actual frequency or you can write maybe maybe here it may or may not be true always so maybe right maybe different from the actual frequency actual frequency emitted by the source. So take down this definition, right? And we'll proceed. Done, sir. All right, great. So let's take up all of this in the form of different examples that I've given you all. Uh, so, yes, in this Doppler effect, no, there is a special case also that we'll take up. So let's say before that, we'll take a case, right? Before that, we'll take a case. So let us take it this way. Let's take a very simple example. Just give me a minute. All right. So this is a very uh, soothing example, right? It will give you a lot of understanding about this concept because it involves a very twist and turn also. So you must have heard about all of this, right? At least once, Karuna, while you were in class uh, 11. Some basic understanding. Have you developed about it before? Like, or is it the first time? So I'll accordingly mold my uh, teaching. Yes. So, uh... I don't remember, so it's my first time. Okay, no issues, no issues, no worries. Yeah. So just have a look, okay? So let's say, let's say, uh, speed of sound, it's given. 
so how do we write the formula first of all how do we actually categorize like let's say we read the formula here no so how do we write the formula for doppler effect let's first do that and then we'll do some questions to make the concept for standing waves and uh, beats and doppler effect clear for you right so let's say we have so doppler effect right let's say the original frequency was f not original frequency was f not and f was the f is the apparent frequency heard this is the apparent frequency whereas f not is the original frequency right which is emitted by the source and let's say v is the and we write this as v plus minus v of observer v plus minus or you can take also take this as minus plus I, i'll tell when to use minus when to use plus minus plus v of the source just remember one thing right this observer speed will come in the numerator source speed will come in the denominator right so this is observer speed whereas the one which is below is the speed of the source so it is source speed and what is this v the v which comes in the numerator and denominator it is the speed of sound in air or in the medium in which whichever medium doppler effect is being observed right so speed of sound in air have you written this formula oh, so is it equal to between mm, where exactly uh just a minute f is equal to f not f is equal to f not into the new like into a fraction which is given by v plus minus v not whole upon v minus plus v s is it clear yes sir yes sir okay all right all right done sir okay great, great so this is the formula right and now i'm giving you some important notes which will help you in tackling this kind of question in the exam right so let's say if the observer or the source are moving away from each other either observer is moving or source is moving doesn't matter but if they are going away from each other so what is this rule regarding i'll tell that first maybe so this rule is regarding the usage of signs this rule is regarding the usage of signs right so when to use plus when to use minus right so maybe that is of crucial importance here i'll write that in different color so we want to use plus minus minus plus what do you what to use and when so when both are moving away from each other or one is moving away from the other in that scenario the apparent frequency should decrease the apparent frequency should decrease right this is the condition one accordingly you will put the sign of plus or minus right so let's say scenario number 1 or case number 1 according to this rule let's say we take this is the observer and we have here is the source okay and the source is moving away from the observer source is moving away from the observer right so write the formula formula will be f is equal to just a minute so we'll have formula f is equal to f not right times of v whole by v here v not and here vs let's say the velocity of source is vs and the observer is stationary so karuna tell me one thing is the observer moving at all if i write so. stationary no right the observer is stationary so it's not moving on an obvious note so this vo should be equal to zero 
Zero. Now what about Vs? So will we add it or subtract? Has to depend upon whether it's going away or towards. So where is it going? Is it going away from the source or it's coming towards the source? This one. Away from. Sorry, the away from the observer. Sorry. Is the source going away from the observer or coming towards the observer? Away from the observer. Away from the observer. So what should it cause? Should it cause an increase in the frequency or decrease in the frequency? Increase. Decrease, right? Because it's going away. Yeah. Right. So if it's going away, that is the rule. So you can write, if they go away from each other, if they go away from each other, frequency should decrease. And if they come together or toward each other, if they, if they come to each other, come towards each other. If they come towards each other, then the frequency should increase. Then the frequency should increase, right? So now tell me, Karuna, if the ob if the source is going away from the observer, what should happen? Yes. Uh, the apparent frequency will decrease. Right. So apparent frequency will be less. Now, in order to make that less, right, make that less than the uh, actual frequency. The, new, the denominator has to be higher, right? The denominator has to be larger, correct? Yes, sir. So in order to make it larger, what should you do? Add, add to it or subtract from it? So add, we should subtract. Right? Add to it, right? Yeah, add. I'll, I'll repeat this entire condition only. Just listen, right? No issues, just listen. Can you read out this rule, Karuna? This rule, which we have just uh, written down. Uh, this one. Yes, sir. Can you read it out? Yes. If, if, if we, then frequency should decrease. Decrease. Right. And if they come towards each other, then? Frequency should increase. Increase. Okay. Now let's do that. Right. We'll take case number one. Observer is stationary. And here is the source moving away from the observer. We will write F. Let's say the frequency, uh, the sound has a velocity V in the atmosphere. Vs is the velocity of the source. And since the observer is stationary, so V0 is zero. I'll put the formula V, right? V0, V, Vs. So first thing, V0 is zero. Correct? Now, since, yes. since the source is going away, since the source is going away, that means what should, what should be there? There should be a decrease or increase in the frequency. Decrease in frequency. So if the frequency or the fraction has to decrease, right? So if this entire fraction, if this entire fraction has to decrease, then the new, then the denominator should, if this entire fraction has to decrease, has to come down, then the denominator should increase, right? Denominator yes, should sir. So I'll put a plus sign here. Let's take case two. Let's say observer is again stationary, but the source is coming towards the observer, but the source is coming towards the observer. Now tell me what should happen again. F is equal to F naught into V V naught plus or minus. We'll decide later here. Also V V S plus or minus. We'll decide later, right? Now tell me. The observer is in this case coming towards the source or going away from him? Towards the, uh, towards the observer. Towards the observer. Oh, sorry. Source is coming towards the observer. So since the source is coming towards, since the source is coming towards, so in this case, the frequent net apparent frequency should increase. Correct? Increase. So in order to yes, the actual frequency value increase, we have to decrease the decrease difference. The Correct. So we'll have a negative sign here. And of course, in this case also observer is stationary. So VO will be zero. Are we clear with this Karuna? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, let's take one more case. So we'll have, this is case number three. So let's say now the 
source is stationary and the observer is moving away now tell me karuna how should the formula look like f is equal to f not into v v here vo right so this is vo this is vx right so source is stationary so v s should be equal to zero zero absolutely correct very good now what about v not should we add to it or increase increase it or decrease it it depends upon whether the source is move whether the observer and source are moving away from each other or towards each other right so what is happening here observer is moving away from away so since the observer is moving away so frequency should decrease decrease so in order to make the frequency decrease the numerator should uh uh subtract right numerator should decrease right so yes, in order for the numerator to decrease i'll put a negative sign are you able to absorb the concept karuna the one which i'm trying to convey this yes sir yes sir i'll give you one more example let's take the fourth case in fact let's take the case right so in this case observer is moving towards the source and has a velocity v not okay now again i write v is equal to oh, sorry f is equal to f not into v v not upon v vs now let us again decide about the signs again here source is stationary so vs will be zero now since the observer is moving observer is moving toward right towards the source so it since it's moving towards the source what what should happen now frequency should increase frequency should increase absolutely correct so what should i do i should increase the numerator add. right i should add to the numerator absolutely correct let's take one more concept i think now you're very quickly catching up good so now let's say i have an observer here and i have source here right both are moving both are moving with some velocity let's say v not and vs right with some velocity let's say v not and vs in the same direction now tell me what should be the apparent frequency again it should be f not into v let's leave the sign for later analysis first we'll put observer above the source okay now tell me one thing is the observer trying to come towards the source or trying to go away from the source yes towards the towards. source so because of the velocity of the observer because the velocity of the observer frequency is trying to increase right because he is going towards so frequency will try to increase correct increase so if the yes. frequency increases i should increase the numerator right yes sir so here there should be a plus sign correct yes sir okay what about the source the source is moving away from the observer or toward the observer away from the observer away so since the source is moving away from the observer here he was moving toward right so since the source is trying to move away so it should lead to a decrease of frequency am i correct yes a decrease so in order for the entire fraction to become lesser numerator should increase sorry denominator yes. should increase denominator. denominator should increase correct yes sir so here there should be a plus sign am i correct yes, yes sir am i clear to you yes sir should we take one more example yes sir or maybe a case so here let's say observer is moving towards the uh, towards the source and the source is moving towards the observer basically both are moving towards each other now what should happen karuna tell me again i'll write f is equal to f not into v right here we have v not v vs right and now tell us yeah so we'll go the same pattern here observer is trying to come closer to the source towards so towards the source, the source yes. since it's coming towards the source frequency should increase increase now since the frequency is trying to increase the numerator should be higher so oh, to it. absolutely now talking about source so the source is coming towards the observer again right yes so the frequency should increase increase now in order for the frequency to increase the denominator should decrease, decrease. 
Just analyze yeah. it and let me know if you are clear. Yes, Karan. Go ahead. Analyze what you said. Pakka, full on clear. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, excellent, excellent, right? So we have read one by one, understood in basics, right? What are beats? What is Doppler effect? And different cases of Doppler effect. There is one special case, Karuna, which is called reflection, which is called reflection of sound. So whenever reflection happens, no. See, we'll take an example of that only. So let's say I have, um, this is a road, right? At the end of a road, there is, there is a stone wall here. Okay. There is a stone wall here. Now we have a vehicle, which is moving towards this stone wall. So. Right? There is a vehicle which is moving towards the stone wall with a velocity, let's say u. With a velocity, let's say u. Right? Now, the velocity of velocity of sound in air is given as 3u. Velocity of sound in air is given as 3u. Okay? And the velocity with which this object is moving or this vehicle is moving towards the wall is u. Now here, behind this vehicle there is a person standing okay there is a person standing so this vehicle is emitting frequency is emitting frequency or sound of frequency f via a siren so there is a siren here right via this it's emitting a frequency let's say So here there, it's emitting a sound of frequency F or for your convenience, let us take this as F naught. Okay. F naught. Now the question is, the question is, what is the, write the question, what is the apparent frequency? What is the apparent frequency heard by, directly heard by so I'll name this observer as O and this car as the source S, right? So the apparent frequency directly heard by by O from S. This is one question. Second is what is the apparent frequency? What is the apparent frequency which is heard by the heard by O after after reflection from the wall right and what is the beat frequency what is the beat frequency this is the question right yeah tell me how should we go about it first one let's take case one yeah yes. tell me we have what is the formula first of all whenever you get such questions no write the formula in front of you whatever you know right yeah tell me what's the formula that we know karuna f is equal to f naught times of just a second right so this is a special case yeah f is equal to f, f naught times of mm -hmm. v mm -hmm. uh, we'll decide the sign later Okay. Uh, yep. V naught v, v not whole by V and by v. V, v S. Correct. Okay. Now tell me, is the observer moving? Uh, no, sir. He is stationary. So we'll take V naught as zero. Let's remove it. Okay. Now let's call the first part. So in the first part, what's happening is we want to find out what is the apparent frequency which is directly heard by the observer from the source. So what happens is whenever the first time, whenever the first time of the frequency is emitted by the source, it tries to reach the observer this way. It also goes towards the wall. 
and from the wall also another frequency or from the wall also the sound gets reflected and heard by this man and both of them will have a different frequency right this will be fa so this will be fp am i clear i'll repeat the reflected yes, sound the reflected sound and the original sound will have different frequencies simple and what is beat frequency the difference of the two correct yes sir are we clear with that karuna because we just learned right that beat frequency is whenever sound is traveling in the same direction and has very small difference in frequency then beats are formed so here because of relative motion there is some difference produced in the frequency and both of the frequencies are heard by the same man so he might be hearing some beats am i correct yes sir okay right so let's go for it yeah so this is the what is this this is given as uh, the speed of sound in air speed of sound in air right okay yeah tell me so what do, what should we do this source is moving away or towards away from the away right so if the source is moving away if the source is going away then the frequency should increase decrease right yeah decrease here see here. once again see here whenever the source was going away then the frequency should karuna frequency should decrease decrease are you sure yes sir yes sir ah uh, be sure okay so so if at all if at all there is some doubt no just be very like uh, clear in asking it right do not hesitate so are we clear until now karuna is there anything that you want to ask me from this concept pakka it's clear no yes sir clear sir okay so if the source is moving away the frequency should decrease decrease so if the frequency should decrease the new, the denominator should increase increase are we clear okay. right yes sir okay substitute the values here we have f not instead of v we will put 3u right whole by 3u plus vs that is the velocity of source how much is it given u right yeah so what will be the answer becoming f not u by 4u is it is it the answer u and u will get cancelled so we'll get 3/4 yes. of f not right yes sir so are you understanding that the frequency is becoming 3/4 in this case right correct yes that is yes, the sir. 75% of the actual value do you see the do you see the doppler effect in action here so here what is happening is this source is moving away from the observer and he will feel as if only 75% of the actual frequency is emitted when the one if it is emitted is 100 he will feel as if it's only 75 right yes sir are we clear with this pakka yes sir yes sir okay now karuna the twist comes in the second part so when you practice questions of this sort no you will get used to it but this is the first time that you're coming across it you might feel a little different so what happens is whenever there is reflection happening at any wall or any intervening medium that wall starts behaving as a secondary source starts behaving as a secondary or an apparent source of sound secondary or apparent source of sound now tell me one thing karuna let's say this wall had some ears right let's say this wall could hear whatever the sound was coming right very bad ear but then yeah let's say this wall was able to hear whatever frequencies were coming how would this wall feel like for this wall the frequency of the sound being received would increase or decrease if the vehicle is coming towards it i will repeat if the if the source is coming towards the wall and the wall is a living creature then what will this wall feel is the frequency increasing or frequency decreasing yes frequency is increasing increasing correct frequency yes. is increasing for the wall so the frequency yes. of the sound which is being received by this man from the wall should also be increasing right yes sir right yes, so sir. what do we assume in in such a reflection scenario we assume that the man who is listening to the sounds right for that man 
we can assume that this wall is moving towards the man this wall is moving towards the man with the same speed as the source of the sound for the wall so what is the source of the sound for the wall car this car right yes. what is vehicle right what is its velocity karuna mm -hmm. so we will assume that this wall is moving with velocity u towards towards the towards whom towards the observer mm -hmm. towards the man are we clear and this yes. wall is serving as the secondary source or the apparent source whatever of sound are we clear with this karuna yes sir now why have i assumed that this wall is moving towards this man and why not away tell that reason to me uh so because mm -hmm. the frequency of sound is increasing when uh, the vehicle is coming towards the wall absolutely absolutely correct because the car is moving towards the wall so the for the wall the frequency being received the frequency being received is increasing if f not was the frequency the frequency received by the wall is actually increasing as the car is moving towards the wall therefore i am and this is the same frequency which is being received by this man right this same sound in fact the same sound is being received by the man correct and therefore i will assume that this wall is moving towards the man so i'll write it here assume that wall is moving towards the man moving towards the man emitting emitting a frequency of emitting a frequency of f not emitting a frequency of f not are we clear with this karuna yes sir and same speed and with same speed and with same speed as the original source as the original source that is the car itself that is in our case you Are we clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what should happen to the apparent frequency? Let's discuss that again. Write the formula: f is equal to f not into v v not. Here, tell me the denominator: v and v s. V s. Absolutely. Is the observer moving? No, sir. No. So this v not should be tell zero. Me, zero. Very good. Now tell me about v s. this time what is the source the source is wall wall absolutely which has velocity towards the observer or away from the observer towards the observer towards the observer if the velocity is towards the observer if the velocity is towards the observer then the frequency should increase or decrease increase if the frequency has to increase then the denominator has to decrease decrease therefore you will put a minus are we clear Yes, sir. Pakka. Yes, sir. So substitute the values. Tell me what do you get? F not into into uh, three three u. We will put three u. Yes, whole by three, three u, u minus, minus u f. Yes, u. So we will get three u by two u into f not. Correct. Uh, three by two u. Right. So we will get f not times of three by two. is equal to the apparent frequency received by the man from the from the wall mm. take a minute absorb whatever i've said right and then we'll move ahead are we clear with this karuna see what happened here how much acha what what will happen karuna if i ask here let's say in our first case in our first case f is equal to 3 by 4 times of f not right f is equal yes. to by 4 times of f not and what about the second case in the second case f is equal to 3, 3 by 2 of f not right 
Yes, sir. What if I ask you what is the percentage increase or decrease in each each case? Will you be able to find that out? Yes, sir. Yeah, tell me how much is the percentage decrease here? Twenty five percent. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. Easy to easy to understand that the decrease yes, by f by four whole by the original frequency into hundred. Correct. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. Now, what about the second case here? How much percentage increase is there? How much percentage increase is there? So initially frequency was f naught. Now it has increased by f naught by two. Only then it will become three by two f naught. Correct? Yes. Yes, sir. So if the increase is f naught by two and the original value is f naught, so the increase upon the original value into hundred, right, will give you the percentage increase. Yes, sir. How much does it come out to be? Half by half into hundred. Yeah, fifty percent. Fifty percent, right? So I can say that in this case, in the second case, there is a fifty percent rise in frequency, right? Fifty percent increase or rise in frequency. Whereas here, there was a twenty-five percent decrease in frequency. Right? Yes, sir. Is that concept clear? Pakka se dum. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so we have, we have. Here, twenty-five percent decrease in the frequency, whereas here we had fifty-five percent, uh, fifty percent increase in the frequency. Frequency. Clear? Yes, sir. Be clear? Yes, sir. Okay, good, excellent. Anything that you want to ask, just let me know. Oh, uh, sir, I'll just copy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. So I think you'll be able to write this on your own also now, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do it, do it. No, don't worry. You can take down the notes. No issues. Yeah. Ah, uh, done, sir. Okay, great. Both pages. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what about the beat frequency? Yes. So. Let's say now I talk about the beat frequency. Yes, beat frequency should be the difference of the two. Correct? Yes, yes, sir. What are the values that we are getting? One is three by two f naught, and the other is three by four f. Three by four. Okay, let's take the difference. Whichever is higher, you can subtract. Uh, like you can subtract the smaller one from that. So. Three by two f naught minus three by four f naught. Am I correct? Right. Yes, sir. Okay, so we have one fourth and we have one and a half. Like we have half extra and three fourths here. So yeah, tell me it should be six by four minus three by four into f naught, which will give you three by four f. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Yes. This is the value of beat frequency, or it, sometimes they also tell you beats per second. Sometimes they directly ask you, tell the beats per second. It's the same thing. The difference of the two frequencies of the sound. Are we clear with this concept? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Okay, Ekdam. Yes, sir. This is beats per second, right? Anything that you want to ask, or first copy this down. No issues. First copy this down. So done, sir. Done. Okay. So now I think uh, we are to go with. Assignment eleven C and D, right? I think assignment number basically eleven and ten, right? Eleven and twelve, the ones which I have given, right? On the group, correct? So we will go for the discussion, uh, but but not today, right? Because I think it took us good time to understand all of this. But it's important that you have understood it well or not. Have you understood it well? Whatever we discussed today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very firmly, very properly. Yes, sir. Okay. Now can you try? Because I believe you have not yet tried, so will you be able to try now those examples, those questions? Yes, sir. Really? Yes, sir. Okay, try them out. Try them out. Not necessary that you will be able to make them all. No issues if not. We are definitely going to discuss them, and I am very sure you will be able to make it as soon as we move ahead. Correct? Yes. Right. So try it out. Right. Try out the questions. There is no hurry. Try it. Try them out. Tomorrow morning, let's catch up again and. Take these uh, questions, right? Okay.
Oh yes. Sir. Question man, like let's consider those questions and solve them, right? Yes. Sir. Uh, so first, I will suggest go for assignment number eleven, right? Assignment number la latest assignment, whichever I have sent. I think eleven, sir. Or go for go for both eleven C and eleven eleven D. No issues, okay? Go for both assignments. Uh, but before you do, please make sure that you revise my notes. Whatever we have read in class now, revise it and then start doing the assignments. Both. 11C and 11D, right? Yes, sir. Right? Okay, great, great. All right, uh, then let's catch up tomorrow early morning and uh, start with the another practice session yes. of this chapter. But please make sure that you at least once revise whatever we have read before, right? Yes, sir. Great. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for being a part of the session. Let us meet tomorrow. Until then, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. Thank you.